If you want to put a chrono or a countdown on Final Cut Pro X, there is not really a chrono or something inside Final Cut Pro X, but there is something free inside that you can use to make a sort of a countdown. Of course, there is application you can purchase, but if you want it to be free, you will want to come in the upper left corner in the title area and look inside generators. Uh, there is one that is called timecode. So take that one, bring it just right here at the beginning. And you see, you've got time actually. Don't worry, it will be better than that. So let's increase that. I want a uh, 30 seconds chronos. So let's bring it up to 30. All right, so it goes up to 30. We will modify this a little bit. So let's remove the project. I just want the chronos. Uh, let's in let's make that bigger. Uh, let's change the font. I use that one usually. And regular. Um, okay, so we have the time, which is white. We can change the color if we would like. And there is also the background that we can change the color if we would like. And if we don't want the background, we can go just right here and put the opacity to zero. So like that, we only have the time. And then there is that thing that may be a little weird for a time code because as you can see it goes up to 30 because it's 30 frames per second. It may go up to 24 depending on your project. Uh, I film in 30 frames per second so that's why it go up to 30 but it doesn't make sense for a chronos or a countdown. So we can change the format to HMS which will bring us to milliseconds which make more sense. Um, well, maybe you don't want to see it. There is one way, but it's not perfect. You can crop from the right like that, but you'll see as it's playing, it's not perfect. See, we can see it just a little bit right here. The eight is now a little bit cut. The, twi the zero is now full cut, so so it's it's not great. But we are not done yet, because you will see that. Now you see it start to zero, it increase up to 30. But if I move it here, because I want it to be there, it will start at 24 seconds. Because it's a time code, it's made to follow the time code of your project. So to solve that, you're going to bring this to the very beginning. And you're gonna hit option golf which will create a compound clip so press ok and now you can move it so as you can see i started here and it start at zero great so now i have a chronos from zero to 30. that's what i wanted and now if i want to count down you're gonna hit common and romeo Press on that arrow and go on custom and put it on reverse. So now it start at 30 and go all the way down to zero. Boom. But now it disappear too fast at my taste. So go at the final frame, click on the clip and press shift hold. And yeah, you've got the hold. So at the end of the 30 seconds, Boom, zero, and it hold just like that. And boom, it goes away. Now, if I want it to be softer, well, I can create a keyframe just right here on the opacity, go with the final frame and set it to zero. So now we have the countdown, zero, boom, stay there and fade out. Et voila. So this is it, thank you for watching, I hope it helps, if yes please make a thumbs up, if you have any question please ask in the comment below, I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there is from my main channel, so please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again.
See ya.